Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today I'm featuring the cottage wreaths bundle on pages 58 to 59 of the mini catalogue for July to December 2022. The suite consists of the cottage wreaths bundle. Um, this is the cottage wreath stamp set and these are the dies. There is a die to die cut this profile and I've mislaid it somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. But this is the set of dies. There are two that will cut out the stamped images which is these two here and this one and these will cut out this sort of detail these two then there are the dies that will cut out the stamped image of the bow the leaf here the trio of leaves here and there is a pair of those so you can cut two sets of three at the same time so you can cut six all together with one pass through the die cutting machine there's one for this little acorn um, one for the holly leaves two for the berries so there's two of those and then this funny shaped one is for the spider and then there's a duo, so there's a pair of duos to cut out the stamp image there. So you can cut four at the same time. And then these are the open work dies, which is this one here. So there are 22 dies all together and this is a bow that embosses and die cuts at the same time. So that's one two three four five six seven eight there's four of these single ones so there's nine ten eleven twelve the pair of open leaves that's thirteen fourteen the spiders fifteen the holly leaves is sixteen the pair of berries is seventeen and eighteen then you've got the stamped bow which is nineteen the embossed bow which is 20, stamped leaf which is 21 and then the little acorn which is 22. There's this silver threaded twine, there's a fine silver thread running through the twine and there's 10 yards of this and in metric that's 9.1 metres. There's a pack of this pearlised enamel basics, three bottles, one each of real red, black and white. There's an ounce in each or 29.5 millilitres. These are the gingham cottage papers. They're 12 by 12. I've cut them down to 6 by 6 so that it's easier to see. There's 48 sheets in the pack so it's double the price. It's at £28 for the pack but you do get 48 sheets. There's four each of 12 double sided designs. So there's checks, uh, large checks on one side, small checks on the other side. And they're in all sorts of colours so they're useful for any season. This is the card we'll be making today. It's a long slim card. I took my inspiration from the catalogue. But I've switched the colours and then switched the way I've done it. The inks I'm using are Smoky Slate and Blushing Bride. I'll also need some scraps of vellum cardstock to die cut the wreaths. It's these ones here. And also some basic white and basic grey cardstock to die cut the bow and for some stamping. So I've gone ahead and die cut three of these out of the vellum cardstock. Um, I've pre-die cut the bow out of Smoky Slate cardstock. I've stamped two extra bows with the stamp to create 
the stamped version. I need, I've already pre-stamped and die-cut two of the wreaths and I need a third one. It, on the stamp sheet there is a little arrow here. It's a greater than sign. And before you take your stamp out of the stamp box, I would mark the stamp with a permanent marker. I've marked mine in black. It's more or less the right place. So I'm going to mount mine at the three o'clock position. So if that's north, south, east, that's east. So I'm going to mount it toward the east then that corresponds with the die here. The die has a cross section and on the one on the right, depending on how you hold it, I'm going to orient mine on the right so that that greater than sign is pointing to the right or to the east. And then when it comes to stamping and die cutting, I just line that up with the way I've stamped. Being a photopolymer stamp, um, it needs a cushion. So I've got a cushion and I'm going to stamp to the right. Hold it there for the ink to absorb. Bring in my die cutting plates. So I've got platform one, the thin die adapter platform two, one of the base plates, platform three, the cardstock and the die cutting edge face down. So there's the arrow, so I want to place it there. And you see how quick and easy it is to line it up. You don't have to keep moving the die to find the right position. Now I want to explain about these pieces here. Now, um, this one, the wreath, it's an open work die, but it also it is only partially cutting through the cardstock. So what you can do is zhuzh these up so that it adds a bit of dimension. And the way to do it, well, I find the easiest way to do it is just to go around the outer rim first, or you can do them inside first and then tackle the outside. Just lift that and then bend the paper toward the center and from the other side you bend it to the left and go around that way. Okay, so those are the die cut elements we need. Now for the card base, this is in smoky slate. It's cut at seven inches by eight and a half inches and it's scored on the short side at three and a half. In metric that will be 18 centimeters by 22 centimeters and the short side you score at nine. Two blushing bride layers and this is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter that's 21 centimeters by eight centimeters. The second matte layer is in the Gingham Cottage designer series paper. I picked this pattern which is a smoky slate and that measures three and one eighth by eight and one eighth and in metric that's 7.5 by 20.5 centimeters. The basic white piece for the inside of the card is also cut the same size so 7.5 by 20.5 centimeters. So let's glue the matte layer in for both the inside and the card front. We'll also glue the second matte layer of the Gingham Cottage designer series paper onto the card front, leaving an even border all round. Then we want to stamp the inside of the card first before we glue it in. Make sure that's straight. Then I'm going to stamp the leaf in Blushing Bride and then move it slightly to the left to stamp a shadow. 
glue that to the inside of the card cut it the wrong size so I've had to trim it down a little bit so that's the inside done now I've put dimensionals on these and just got to remove the backing tape from this and then I'm going to place this in the middle and then put these on either side in the same orientation um, so that's there the next stage is to put these vellum uh, layers on now this die in particular you can see around the rim here is a gap a margin um, which is flat so that's ideal for using paralyzed enamel effects so what I'm going to do is rather than put it on here I'm dot my glue at the 12 and 6 o'clock position then the 3 and 9 then the 2 uh, four, and ten, I think. So then I can place that on top. And I'll speed it up. Now I'm going to cut the dimensionals in half so I can put it behind the bow. This one cut from the Smoky Slate cardstock. Raise it up on dimensionals and put it on here. Cut that dimensional in half and put one half on this one and one half on the other one. I want them facing in the opposite direction. And then the last thing you do is add your pearlized enamel effects basic accents. It takes quite a while to dry so that's why that's the last thing you do. So I want one in the middle here, nine o'clock, uh, three o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock, two, ten, four, eight. It takes quite a long time to dry, so just set it aside and leave it to go off. I left mine for an hour before I dared to touch it. If you're impatient, you will just smudge the globs. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I've just got one last element to do, and that's to stamp the sentiment. Stamp hello. And trim that off. I haven't got a precise measurement for this, but just enough to for the word. So I'm going to cut that. Cut that in the middle. And then cut in from either side. Then I'm going to curl the word and bend it back a little bit because that tucks underneath and I want that to go up pop and dimensional on the back bring back my cord tuck that in like so and of course the long slim line envelopes which are still available to put this card in 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Thanks for joining me today. Um, do give me a thumbs up if you like it and share if you can. I'll appreciate it so much. You can find all the supplies I've used below this video in the show more section. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. And if you'd like to read more, then hop over to my blog. I've got a link in the uh, show more section as well. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.